Full review time of the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. It's a bit of a boggy name, isn't it? But it's a very sleek, easy to use, personal launch monitor at an impressive price. I'm gonna show you what this does, where you can use it, how you might use this device to help you improve your golf. We're gonna talk about how accurate it is, is it worth the money? And is this a device that you could play home simulated golf at and start practicing no matter what the weather, no matter what the conditions? I'm looking forward to this one. Remember, if you like the information in this video, hit that like button down below. Down in that description as well, there will be a link. If you use that link, it helps the channel out. If you're thinking of buying this product, go and check out the current prices and deals that are running. Also, you're gonna find down there lots of other affiliate links. If you're looking at any of those products, they're gonna offer you the best price. Unboxing the Rap Sodo was pleasant. It's very well made, it's well packaged. You open up the box, inside you get the actual unit, which is this long, thin, kind of gray unit with a face on the front. This is a camera and radar based launch monitor, which we'll show you what that does for you as we go through the review. It comes with this handy little tripod that simply just screws on, like one turn, screws on, clips on almost more, allowing you to set it up in different locations, which we will also talk about where you can use this device. Also in the box, you get a nice carry case, very solid, good for transporting around if you do want to move this around from range to course to back home, as well as the appropriate documentation and charging leads. Also in the box, we have these Callaway golf balls with dots on. Now any radar based system indoors, even top end radar based systems like Trapman encourage you to use these kind of golf balls when the ball flight is limited. So it comes with a set of three of these to use indoors to make sure the distances and the spins, basically the data that you get is very accurate. The device felt good in the hand, it felt robust enough to take the odd little knock, not that I would advise doing that, but it also felt kind of pristine enough and kind of pretty enough to feel like a good quality piece of tech in your hand. Setting up the device was intuitive and easy. You download the app for your appropriate device. You simply turn on the device, the pairing options come up, you follow the on-screen displays and you pair it via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or a mixture of both, I think it was. You set the device up around eight feet behind the ball and then indoors you need a certain amount of ball flight, but I think most people's nets would be that space. Outdoors you just put it down eight foot, around eight foot behind the ball and, and you hit. There's an alignment factor on there, so when you set it up, there's a, the camera kicks in with a line, so you line up not only to hit area so you're hitting in a space so it's getting the best most accurate capture there's also a line so you can line that up to your target as well which is obviously going to be important for left and right data and then you just simply start hitting balls and I tested indoors and outdoors and I was impressed we'll talk about the outdoors but when I used outdoors it was quite muddy so I was taking decent divots out of the ground and moving around a bit but the capture stayed pretty consistent even though I was having to move from my distances or for my divots I didn't have to reset up the device even even though I was moving what I felt outside of the little box, which impressed me. Obviously, if you were on a range, you'd be able to hit from a controlled spot every time, and then in indoors, again, you'd be able to hit from a controlled spot, the same spot each time. And then the big difference with indoors, you've got to use the Callaway balls. They do make other balls, so I think there's tightless ones available, and so might be other manufacturers coming. I didn't test by putting a dot on it. I wonder if that would work, but I didn't test that. And then you just hit the balls, the data comes in, presents to you on your screen which you could project in front of you if you wanted to see it on the screen you're hitting indoors and it was very simple to set up. The Rapsodo MLM2 Pro measures up to 13 metrics coming up around me now. It's going to deliver all the metrics you need to understand what's happening to your ball flight and then in turn a little bit about what's happening with club. Even though you're only really getting club speed, you can work out a little bit about what's happening with your face and path subject to the data you get from the ball. A little bit more advanced. It's basically going to deliver you consistent 
and reliable, possibly, as we'll test and show you, ball data to allow you to work out spin rates with drivers, wedges, distance control, to really dial in your iron shots, max out your distance with your club. There's another thing, it captures even when you're not swinging and hitting a ball, allowing you now to use your speed protocol. So if you're using a stack system and you want to measure how fast you're moving that, stick through impact it's going to measure that which i think is a really killer use so not only can you home sim you can practice down range you can also speed train i think it's fantastic the data doesn't display on the device itself it displays on whatever you've got it connected to so android or ios device ideally so i had ipad and iphone using for this uh, test and they both worked really well it also allows you to capture your swing and play it back and you can have multiple cameras so you could use your iPhone or iPad from one angle and the Rapsodo ML2 Pro from the behind angle where it's set up to capture the ball to allow you to have two swing views as well as the data on top of that which is a fantastic use of what is a pretty cheap device bearing in mind what it's delivering to you which seems like a lot, like even as a coach, it's something if you wanted to be really light working, dialing distances with the two camera angles, like I could use this to teach. The other thing it displays as well, which I thought was really cool, it's got an impact camera. So it plays the close up of the slow-mo it's capturing from behind on the device of the impact, giving you great insights to maybe where you're touching the ground, what part of the face you're hitting at. So it doesn't actually tell you in data which where the strike is, but you can see from the twist of the club, you can see from where the ball is lining up some ideas of your strike patterns as well i thought that was a very cool add-on again for the price it measured a lot consistently with good displays which really impressed me so i started with taking it outdoors i was on a grass range so if this was a a range with a map I think this would just be so simple. Basically my indoor test was what I would say is a range with a mat, which we'll show you in a second. But outdoors, setup was simple. I love the alignment feature. Obviously you've got to be careful. I'm on wet ground, so I had a towel for my iPad to sit down on. When you start taking these devices out into the, the wilds, the reality of golf, certainly in the UK, you do start to think, Oh God, I've got my iPhone just sat on the wet floor here. Obviously you could lock it and put it in your pocket and things like that. But if you want to hit balls and look at the data, some things to be aware of. But lining it up was super easy. Connecting with it outside, super easy. And I was hitting some pitch shots and then some fuller shots as well. And I was impressed. The data was super, super accurate. I even got to a stage where I measured it out with a rangefinder on some of the pitches I hit to see how good it was at measuring. And the measurements were spot on outside it felt super super accurate now in the setup process it says not to point it directly into the sun i was pointing it say so if i was hitting at you the camera i reckon the sun was just off pointing in so i was wondering if it would work and it absolutely did so i felt like outside i gave it a pretty hard test with the way i set it up i couldn't hit the other way unfortunately you can't hit the other way on that range outside the test i thought was spot on now on the course you could take it on the course as well again you've got the problem of having to set up it does take 30 seconds to two minutes subject to how good you are at moving it around you've also got your device so on the course you could use it if it was really empty and you just wanted to measure a bit of performance on the golf course i personally wouldn't be taking out i think it would be messy and boggy i would be doing it on a range and then much more indoors and then taking that learned data out to the golf course When it comes to the price, this is an absolute sweet spot. If this device is as accurate as I feel it is at the minute, we're going to show you how accurate it is at the end. For the price, for home use, being able to game, being able to practice, do combines, being able to do gap testing, being able to keep your sessions recorded over time, being able to do speed training, 
this offers so much for the price. Like it's ridiculous how good these systems are getting. And I think down at this price, this is got to be one of the best that you could get. There's a premium membership as well, which you need to think about does add a bit of cost. So I think you get that at the start and then it rolls over from yearly prices coming up. So if you want all the full features, you are gonna have to have a bit of a subscription. I know lots of you don't like subscriptions, which I get. They are a bind and they hang over you. I get that, but just remember that is on the cost as well. As a device on its own for the price, I thought it was fantastic. If you're willing to subscribe and get, you are using this. I think if you're using the device, you know, you use it weekly, twice a week, or if not more, that subscription is just, it's not gonna affect you at all. If you're someone who's just gonna use it for a couple of months of the year, that subscription might be a little nasty. I think you can cancel the subscription at any time. So maybe you could subscribe for those couple of months and then turn it off. So you'd, But again, you check the website for the exact details on that. But there is a subscription, bear that in mind. I know lots of you don't like that. Using it indoors with some of the setup basics, you could definitely have this set down, just leave it there, have a consistent spot to hit the ball from. You could literally just unscrew the unit and go and charge it, bring it back and keep your tripod pretty much fixed. So your hitting area would stay consistent. Indoors, I thought using the actual golf balls, the balls you should using, comparing it directly up to my quad, I was impressed with the numbers. The numbers were really good. Obviously, it doesn't give you the club numbers. The club head speed jumps around. I wouldn't rely on club head speed, rely more on ball speed. The ball speed was super consistent. But if I use my GC quad and only collect ball numbers, when it tries to spit out club speed, it also jumps around because it works the club head speed off the strike, not actually the club head speed. So if I'm swinging at a fast, say I'm swinging at 100 miles an hour and I hit it way out the toe and the ball speed drops, it drops the club head speed down, which is the problem if you're not measuring club head speed, actually measuring the club. But all the devices do that. I thought the way it displayed the graphics was super good. They weren't laggy. You could project it on the screen if you wanted to, and it would look like a shot is coming out, like it was decent. And as long as you use those specific balls with the dots on, choose the brand of your preference, I was super impressed with the numbers in now, when it comes to the app as well, I thought the app was pretty intuitive. I love the swing vision. I love the impact vision. I think the way it displays the data is super clear, easy to digest. You can collect your sessions, remember your sessions, look at progress over time. I thought the app was good and full. Having the ability to do combine tests where you test your skills, you've got the range view, just hitting down the range, and then you've also got the practice as well, just practicing with the tiles on. It, it offered an in-depth amount of options for enjoyment and practice, which super, super impressed me. The ability to be able to do speed training, so good. So anyone who just wants to take out in the garden, swing their protocols, if it's stack system or super speed, whatever it is that you're using, to then measure and keep that record over time. I think it's priceless if you are someone looking at improving your speed. Now, when it came to the courses, so playing the golf courses, it was really good fun. And I think fun's the key word. Slightly gamey graphics, slightly gamey presentation, but obviously it does link with other devices as well. If you want different levels, the one that comes with it, I just thought this is great fun for a family wanting to play, or if you just wanted to, practice on the range and then take some of those skills and hit shots down a fairway into a green. So if you avoid hazards like water and trees and bunkers, even though it was a bit gamey, I could absolutely use it. I could use it in lessons. I could use it to practice. If you're a serious, serious gamer, I think the, the software that comes with it is, is a little bit fun and kind of Nintendo gamey, but actually the ability to try and hit fairway with it is there as good as anything else. I thought the app was super impressive. It covered so many aspects. And again, for the price, it was punching, like punching hard compared to others that are out there. So is the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro it's a lot, isn't it? Um, is it accurate? Is it worth the money? That's the big question that lots of people ask. So my tests, I was super impressed with the accuracy. As long as you do all the setup process, 
it was pretty good, like really good. I think the thing to remember with all launch monitors, even the top end ones, so I've used launch monitors for years, I've used Trackman, I'm a GC quad, that's what I coach with, it's what I would hang my hat on at the moment where technology is at the point of filming this video. Even those devices, when they spit out a funny number, the trick is if you practice enough on these devices and you learn your patterns, you'll see when a funny number comes out. They all do it. There's always a strike, some kind of capture, some kind of ball movement that throws it, and you get a funny number. You have to learn those with every device. For the price this one is, I think it's an absolute no-brainer if you're looking at entering the home use simulator launch monitor. Take something to the range to get some decent numbers and learn your patterns. Because the thing I found is it was just really consistent. So if it was consistently shooting or giving two yards or four yards or five yards different to the quad, it was consistent. So you could debate which one actually is correct because they all have a tolerance of consistency. And this is, I think, a rabbit hole we can go down a little bit too much with these launch monitors when we try to debate what is accurate. Well, that's debatable in itself. Is it worth the money? 100%. Like I say, this, this device is a no-brainer for anyone who wants to enter that market at not too crazy a price get lots of functionality simple to set up portable to move around in different spots i was impressed i can see why this one is getting good reviews it is a really good fun device remember if you're thinking of buying this device use my affiliate link down below it helps that channel out now if you want to see what other devices compete with these i've got a video basically here which talks to you about two other devices that kind of compete with these, maybe a step up in price, but will allow you to see what other options are out there in the home use launch monitor simulator arena. Let me know if this helps. Thanks for watching.